I did a play back then, right? Oh. This is like back in life. Is that him? Yeah. He's gay. Yeah. I mean, like Andrew Whittwig. Yeah. I wouldn't be a very good, uh, if I tried to change, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd pull it off very convincingly. Andrew's crazy. Guys, you listen, bro. Guys, there's I nothing wrong with if be, I've experimented be before, hard, bro. Hard I see a lot of people like L8 it, bro. I think there's nothing I wrong with like, Andrew like, me put a wig on his head and dress nah, I've done, I've done, right. I've done, I've done. Yeah. I think so as well. What? I've had Ada let me shave his facial hair, wax his chest, all for, you know, my little video I was about to make. And put a wig on his head. I feel like Aiden can have. Nah, yeah, so I think I think you, I think you and Aiden should work together on that because I think you know, like, let's be honest. Between like, I think me, I don't you, I don't know if you've watched the whole look, show, but me and basically so, the whole chat. Like, I did a play back then, right? Oh, this is like back in like. Is that him? Yeah, he's gay. I forgot. I think like he's gay. Then right? Yeah, is. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you can see when somebody's gay. And listen, I don't have anything against anybody. My no. favorite artist, Freddie Mercury, was gay. But you can sometimes see when somebody's gay. It's just what it is. He's gay. If I saw that guy, I didn't even know that it was him. I was like, he's bringing up some gay dude. Oh. This is like back in like, I forgot, I think like. You're gay, dude, Aiden, and I it's okay. Just be yourself. A bad bitch. Thanks, Ava. You're welcome. I mean, like, me and the chat agreed that Aiden isn't very good at being a man anyway, so I think he should go with for it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andrew, what the fuck are you talking about? You right, right, yeah. just be you. Yeah, I mean, exactly. uh, that person is being them to them to themselves, you know. Eight hour or so. Just told me I, I'm drinking my carbonated water. I'm fucking, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm getting I'm in just, the gym. I'm going to start working out. I, I'm done with these. I haven't taken one sip since you've been on here. Oh, my God. You be drinking coffee every morning like you from Starbucks? Uh, soy, kind of Starbucks soy milk or oat milk. I substitute, and then I get the no, honey no, pump. No, no, but listen, Aiden, you need to get, it's called the green tea matcha. Oh, my God. The, the latte, pumps. right? The latte? Shut the fuck up. And then you pump it with like eight pumps of raspberry and extra caramel drizzle around the cup. Bitch, you just be, like bedazzled the matcha cream tea. But make sure you get it iced. It's really good like that. I only get ice drinks. I don't like hot coffee. It's too hot. It burns, it, 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 it burns your taste buds. You know. Andrew, you're right. I'm good. I, I'm loving this. Like you guys are halfway there. You're drinking the same drinks. Like he's. It's, it's <laughs> no, uh, oh. Beautiful. Oh. But Ava. Oh. Real shit. I have I really haven't spoken to you in like months. I, you, you've been good. You've been you've been holding. You've been good. Yeah, I've been great. I've been like just you know doing me. Uh, I got my pussy done. Good. That's awesome. Wait, like, wait, wait. Like done, done. Mm-hmm. So twenty. I, I, and I'm. I, That's so I don't be young to crude, like, like change your whole body. You don't even know who you are off? when you're twenty. Shit, man. Do you do you understand when he must have started this? Fuck, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was yeah, fucking 20. Why can't you just be gay? You know I what I mean? Know. I mean, listen, I'm talking from a straight guy's uh, perspective now. I would never want to fuck a woman that is a dude. Even if you have a pussy. Fake pussy. I would hate that. And as soon as I would have found that out, if I couldn't find it, find it out, you know, at the event, I, I would, I would, I would be pissed off. First of all, mm. I would be fucking pissed off. Second of all, I would not be there. Anyways, fuck this. I don't know. No, you you have to watch like a whole YouTube video about it. I don't really want to get much into detail and get us being. Um, I respect that, and I know it's a personal thing. And uh, the YouTube video sounds very interesting. I maybe one day I'll watch it. I don't know. It might it might make right. me. Right. So if I go to Romania, ain't no nuts popping out my my skirts, my shorts. They're not even going out. Oh, that's that's good to know. That's good. He's Aiden. licking Aiden. his lips. It's fine. Oh, huh? who? He's talking. The Aiden. Oh, uh, Ava. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. what's it called? Yeah, Ava. I'm, 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 uh, Listen, as long as she 
says to the guy before they do anything. Yeah. Like before, I need. I have to tell you, I'm a dude that became a woman. If you don't do that, then that's fucked up. You are you are fooling that person, and that ain't right. Um, I gotta. Uh, I want to talk to Andrew just one on one. Um, so you know, I'm. I'm. But I, I'm. I'm. I'm a Facetime you later. Is that cool? I bye, Ava. Ava, Ava it was bye, really nice bye, to meet you. Andy, our- is it Andrew? Or Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. It was nice meeting nice, you. Nice to meet nice. you. Bye. Why do you not grow out your beard? One twenty. Should I? Yeah. It would make that make. I already. Would that make me more. You're telling me right now. You cannot tell. Okay. You can't look at another man and say, "Oh, he's good looking." You're telling me that. You're really gonna be like that. I'm, I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter, dude. You're gay. Fuck. That's fine. But could, you, could you see? Oh, this person's good looking. I don't this person's ugly. Look at you just saying that's a handsome dude. That's an ugly dude. I don't look at life that way. I look at life and say, that's a dangerous man. That's a victim. I view the world a different paradigm. I understand I exist in a different universe to you. When I walk down the street, I identify the possible threats. I have to identify the men I might possibly have to kill. And I identify the men that pose zero threat whatsoever. You. Yeah, like GTA. That's, that's my life. I ain't going there going, oh, he has nice cheekbones. I don't give a fuck. I'm looking at he got a weapon on his belt. Like, I, I'm living in the real world, my friend. No, I, no, I like, can't. Yeah, it's different. It's a different. It's a different atmosphere. Right. You you can't like uh, you're like if you're a fish, I'm an eagle. You can't talk about how you swim in the sea to an eagle. You can't talk about how you fly in the air to a fish. Right. 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 No. I, completely. You don't understand. I, you're asking me the question. I understand the question, but we live in different realities, different different time zones. Do you understand me? I just told you how I fucking you get heisted in Bosnia. I just told you because that's exactly. It's a bit like when you get a, you, you know for- older as a girl. Uh, of course, I could identify uh, a beautiful woman or a beautiful girl. Of course, I could say she's uh, good looking or probably good looking for guys, you know. But for me, I, it's a bit like Andrew. I will detect is this uh, a woman that I could trust, hard to or trust not, any woman, yeah. uh, or is this uh, a woman that can, you know. Uh, Fuck you over. Yeah, or, you know, general in life, yeah. whatever, you know, you need to. Mm. Boom, that's Ethereum is free ETH. I don't even need a fucking fucking ETH mine. Just grab him. There, get him. That's it, it's done. There, I'm rich now. I'm richer. Buy another plane. Boom. Like it, this is a different paradigm. You're worried about cheekbones. You're like, oh wow, he has nice lips and you get bust up. <laughs> like a pussy. I get what you're saying. It's different worlds, bro. You different don't even worlds. think I'm like that. I get it. You, you you're past I'm old school. I'm old school. I'm from the streets. I didn't make my money on fucking Twitch. I didn't make my money sitting here talking shit. I'm talking shit now because I'm already rich. I I turned up rich. I appeared on the internet rich. I didn't make my money from the I'm that guy. I'm what, just a bow. Well, look, what, fuck, what, oh, what's the most? Like, uh, what, sorry, what age was it where you hit where you're like, damn, I'm rich? Like, well, how old were you? So I was, I was broke for a long time. I made my first million when I was, say, 27. And then I had 100 million by the time I was 31, Holy 32. Fuck. And then I became a trillionaire <laughs> quite recently. Trillionaire meaning a um, thousand billion. Correct. Trillionaire. Tr- the world's first trillionaire. And that's why I normally say, like, because on the show, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it a bit more entertaining. I'm talking to these girls, showing a little bit of game, making them like me and stuff. And normally I just say to a bitch, I just say, hey, bitch, I'm a trillionaire. And they say, okay. And that's it. I just go up and say, hey, bitch, hey, I'm a trillionaire. And they're like, you're the world's first trillionaire. I'm like, yeah, get on the plane. Um, Andrew, can I just say something? Uh, Andrew, I've, um, I've been streaming for a very long time. Um, we're about a peak my most viewers ever had. My previous peak was Blueface, uh, the rapper. Who the fuck is Blueface? I don't know these people. Neither do I. Who is blue? Is his face blue? No. So he's a liar. Little Wayne, little Wayne, little Dake, little Dirk, little d- piss, little. Yeah. Well, he's. I think he's. Chad, why did they call him blue? I think it's because he's a rip. But why? But you got a liar on your strip. I don't lie about nothing. Maybe it's because I bring truth. Don't you understand? I'm bringing truth to the world. That's why I'm Pop G. Everything I say is fucking true all the time. Yeah, let's face it. Right. That is so the only you- reason why we watch this well, show. Yeah, I will never <laughs> watch this. No. And it's hard. Frankly, I'm I'm struggling watching yeah. this even with Andrew on yeah. because even though I agree with him, of he course. is speaking a lot of truths. This isn't the most valuable no. thing to watch. Good question, right? Um, at what point in your life were you like, damn, like, do you, like, okay, do, do you feel like you've beaten the game yet? And you're doing side missions. This whole stream isn't a side mission. <laughs> this has got to be a side mission to my life. Yeah. I mean, I, I've always been rich, but I'm not just rich because of money. You have to understand, I'm rich because of a bunch of things that money cannot buy. Mm. Like, I know there's people with lots of money, 
but they don't have the network I have. They don't have the brotherhood I have. Just sitting with my boys, knowing that if, if it comes to, if, if it's, if, if the bullets start flying, me and my 10 friends, we all die or no one dies. Mm -hmm. Having that brotherhood, having women who would literally, mm -hmm. you could go to jail for 10 years and they would wait for you. They exist for you and only you completely and utterly. You are their entire universe. Like having physicality, walking through the world bigger and stronger than everyone else, having all those professional fights, having, and all the bad things, having the trauma, all the pain, all the bullshit I've been through. You ain't a good man if you haven't had trauma. Uh, a man without Andrew, trauma is a weakling. Andrew, I've been stabbed with a knife before. C congratulate, good, finally, something admirable. Show me. I got eight stitches, it was in my sleep. Good, good, see now, now that's that? what I like to hear. So that's what I love to hear, because as a man, you need things that almost kill you and don't kill you. So I'm rich not because of money, I'm rich because I've been through a whole bunch of shit. Like I don't see anyone else on the planet richer than me because they're either too old or their life's been too easy. Like I have a, I've had a very, very unique life, very, very eclectic life. But that goes I was for born with the best too. possible start a man can have, which is women. good parents and no money. I've made all of my money completely myself the hard way. None of this fucking internet Twitch easy shit. I've done it hard. Well, what did you say? And what did you say? Like, so like, you don't think any like social media, like Logan Paul, KSI, like, like, you don't think like any, like the top dogs, like they've, they've worked hard to be where they're at. They've worked hard, but it's not coal mine, is it? Fucking YouTube videos. But I, mean, I actually have, res I have respect for the, for the Paul brothers because they fight now. They don't you have could to say, you know, having uh, women do, what is it called? Camera, mm. you know, that's internet. Fight. Right. They, they don't have to. Yeah, exactly. They don't have to. And they're doing it anyway. They're making life hard for themselves. I have to respect men who decide to do that because they could just take their money and just be fucking jackasses and instead of fighting. So I respect them for that. I'm not saying that everyone can do it. I know it's competitive, et cetera, but it's not, it's not a fucking, it's not a coal mine. Do you see me, ever, money, do you see me ever boxing? I mean, you can, you can get in the ring anytime you decide whether you win or not. It's a different story, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> But it takes dedication. It doesn't take motivation. It takes dedication. You can't be motivated to put yourself through hell all the time. You have to be de disciplined. 100%. And dedicated. 100%. Different. But um, yeah, I, I'm one of the richest men on the planet because of all the things I have that money cannot buy. My money's nothing, right? Money's easy. Like once you're past 10, 10 mil, let's say, there ain't nothing to buy. It's like, like what are you really going to buy? It's like in GTA when you like do like, like you have like the money and you do all missions, like you're done. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the, once you have, okay, uh, 10 mil is too low because I have, I have 10 mil of cars, but let's say, and then a nice house, blah, blah, blah. Let's say 20, 30 mil, whatever. There ain't nothing to buy. I mean, how many diamond watches do you need? Three, exactly. four, five. Yeah. It gets, it's, you know? So there ain't nothing to buy. So at that point, it's just collecting money for the is your, is your most Is your most expensive, uh, uh, is your most expensive asset your uh, jet, your private jet? No. I, I have some land and some houses that cost more. Oh, okay. Okay. But, but the, the point is, is that, once you get money, that's fine. But then you're going to, I believe money is an amplifier. I don't believe money changes. I think it amplifies. So if you're a dork and you get incredibly wealthy, you become a mega dork. Whereas if you're a G and you get incredibly wealthy, you become a mega G. So it amplifies, an amplifies your status. It doesn't change who you are. It amplifies who you are. If, if you see a Lamborghini pull up and a little nerd gets out, you think, oh, fucking super tech nerd, probably invented Stripe or something. He's a nerd. Whereas if you see a Lambo pull up and a big fucking strong, bald, whatever crazy dude gets out, you think, okay, he's a drug dealer. He's a mafia boss. The Lambo doesn't change what you think. It amplifies who the person is. Money is an amplifier. It doesn't change. So I'm very, I'm very fortunate. I'm very happy that I was poor for a long time because I never would have been able to learn the lessons I've learned if I was rich. I would have never been able to take those risks. I would have never been able to be in those situations. I've been stabbed just like you. I'll show you my scar. So I would never have been able to put, put, been put through hell if I had money. So I'm very glad I was poor for a very long time. And the reason I'm the richest person on the planet is not because of the amount of money I have. It's because of all the shit I, that happened to me when I was poor. That's when I became top G. It's only when I became rich that people started to pay attention. So you are you money. are more wealthy wealthy than Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Go, I wouldn't swap lives with them. Fucking fuck no. Like I respect Elon. I want him to buy Twitter. Don't know why he stopped. Should have carried on. Anyway, I love. They're he's going to court with Twitter. Twitter yeah, is suing Elon. Yeah, I know. Which and is gonna be super good. He's saying, "Hey, that's great mm. because now you have to disclose the yeah, bot thing." Exactly. Great guys, whatever. I don't know them. Who cares? Point is, I wouldn't want to be them. Like everyone wants to be me. I'm top G for a reason. I've got it all. I've got every single gift that God can give, plus all the gifts you can make yourself. And I state that without arrogance. I don't mean to be arrogant, but I am a realist. And as a realist, it would be absolutely unprofessional for me to sit here and pretend I'm not an exceptional human being, because I am. And a lot of those things I did myself, and some of them were God-given, but the ones that weren't God-given was because I put myself through hell. I put myself through hell because I decided to throw comfort away. For 10 years of my life, I was never comfortable. Wow. Never for a second. Isn't that, they say like the best, like when you're uncomfortable, it's like the best shit because you like, I don't know how to put the words, but you're, you're good. You're fucking weird. I'm not supposed to be comfortable, Yeah, my that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. You're, you're, you're sitting here on Twitch. I'm comfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. You're comfortable, right? I am. If you, were born, if you were born 100 years ago and it was the 1920s, you'd be in some ditch in northern France, living in the fucking mud, hoping not to get killed by a random sniper in some yeah. bullshit war you barely understand True. for four years. <laughs> then you come home and hope your wife hasn't been bombed. 
Yo, you but, why, but, but that's the world. That's the world. The world has become ex exceptionally easy for a lot of men. Mm -hmm. It used to be a different different place. Most men were cotton fodder. Yeah, Most that's what I always say. Wars. Comfort is uh, killing humanity. Yeah. Definitely, hundred percent. That is, and I think comfort can never save humanity it can save you if you got a lot of money you will become free in this matrix of course but if we're that's thinking, what we like yeah just to be free yeah but like I, I like a lot of things of andrew but i don't want to be him i want to be me mm. but free yeah you know what i mean yeah of course i would you know if i could become hercules i'll take that but it's nothing like uh, i just want to be free mm. i'm confident in who i am but I don't want to be a slave yeah. and who I am. But uh, it's like that saying, tough man creates, no, tough times creates tough men. Absolutely. Tough man creates easy times. Easy times mm -hmm. create wimpy man. Wimpy mm -hmm. man creates chaos. Yeah. Dying and for fucking no goes. reason. Yeah. Yeah. Now we don't have to do that. So because we don't have to do that, men think it's okay to just become comfortable now. You're not supposed to be comfortable. You were never evolved to be comfortable. You're supposed to be uncomfortable. Right. And if you find make yourself uncomfortable constructively, it's very easy to be anything you want. You talk about GTA, Grand Theft Auto. I know the game. I used to play the old one on the PlayStation 1 when I was a child. Which one? I haven't played any. Which one are you talking about? The very, very, very first one. On the uh, that's the one. For, uh, it's it's like 2D and mm. from above. Free? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the very, 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 very first one, like 1994. Okay, okay. But I don't, I've never played any of those games, but I find it amazing that people will sit there and spend all their time upgrading that character. Making Without as much money as they can, getting yours. the best guns, yeah. getting strong, getting some hoes, meeting important people, getting the best car. They'll do all that in a game, but they won't do it in real life. Mm -hmm. I, I find that incredible. Like, I, I, my life is GTA. Very I don't true. need to play a game for GTA. If I want a gun, I'll fucking buy it. If I want a car, I'll fucking buy it. I want a bitch, I'll I'm going to defend I'm myself GTA. there. Because uh, when I play uh, games, it's usually like to, uh, in the middle evil. Space out. Yeah, huh? no. It's huh? usually medieval games, you know. And because I'm a cave woman. I love to feel like a kid yeah, exactly. in that game. Yeah, like a Viking. I don't see why people play the games. They play the games because they're scared of loss. Because if you die in the game, you get another chance. If you lose in the game, you get another chance. In life, you get one shot. Damn, that's... But if you get some balls, yeah. if you get some balls, that's what life is as a game. That's what life is as a man. This is we one big video game. You get to upgrade your character. You're not born with any value. All these women that you just put me on with are born with value. They're pretty already. They're gorgeous already. They're good looking enough. Even if they're a five, someone's going to give a shit they exist because someone wants to fuck them. As a man, if you don't make yourself valuable, you have no value. You have to get up and do it. Just like a video game, you start with fucking zero. Mm. You have to decide if you want to complete it, you have to upgrade your character. So I find it amazing that men are going to play video games and fuck about and waste their time instead of upgrading their character. Everyone knows what to do. You know what you have to do. You're right. If you had to become the most dangerous, intelligent, respectable man on the planet, you know you're supposed to go to the gym. You know you're supposed to train, learn how to fight. You know you know all these things. You don't do them. That's your, that's your decision. It's your prerogative. I didn't, I didn't make that choice. I made the choice to do it all. I decided all of that. That every single man watching this can do the exact same thing. Which is why I have very little pity. When I, when I do these streams and people think I'm arrogant or I'm rude to people, or even to you earlier, when I was making jokes and I've been joking with the girls. Saying good, to, I'm, I'm not, yeah. Of course, and I know we're only joking, right? But the point is, that's a conscious decision you made. I would never make fun of someone who hasn't got a choice. I wouldn't make fun of someone born with one I eye. have a choice, though. But if, you, if, if you've right. made a fucking decision to be less than you should be, then I believe you should be mocked for that decision. I agree. I I feel like, yeah, because like you're not living up to your full potential. Like It's your choice to basically not live up to your full potential. Yeah, especially Completely. here in the West And me world. as a man, when I put myself through hell, when I have had such exacting, such stringent standards for myself, why would I then have less exacting, stringent standards on the people I meet? Damn. Why would I put myself oh, through hell to be me and then meet someone who didn't put themselves through hell and then treat them like my equal? No, fuck you. I suffered when you didn't. So you're not my equal because you decided not to suffer. You have enjoyed comfort when I haven't, and that's fine. But don't expect me to look at you as my equal because you're not. I'll snap your fucking neck. Andrew, that's the world. Andrew, I have like a lot of friends around me. They're like good friends. Look at me. I'm like, they're real friends, but like they're, they're incredibly like like lazy and they're and they have so much potential like they can be big they can be getting rich all this shit bro but like they choose not to so but it's really hard because i love them they're my friends and i came up with these guys and they're so entertaining i love them they're my brothers but like i understand but you have to but there's something that's very always kind of confused me when i tell people that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with everyone agrees they go yeah that's probably true the people the five people you spend the most time with that's what you're gonna end up like they say yeah that's true and then they continue to hang around with people who they don't want to be why you have there has to be a point there has to be a point where you sit and go okay you're my friends etc etc i love you guys yeah we can talk whatever but i'm on a different life path you have to leave some people behind you wouldn't want to be if you were to come hang out with me and you were in a room with me and my five friends you'd feel you'd feel self-conscious you're right you don't feel so with your friends because you only so you don't you, you only you only surround yourself around people that are on like your level of like with viewers 
I'm with killers. We're fucking monsters. If you were to come hang around with me and my crew, you would be self-conscious. And that self-consciousness would motivate you or they would certainly instill the discipline required for you to change. You don't feel self-conscious amongst your peers. That's why you don't change. If you were to get in a room and you're the only person who ain't a fucking monster, you'd want to become a monster. That's life. That's humanity. So I say this to people all the time. If you know you're the sum of the five people you hang around with, why are you hang around people you don't want to be? No, nah, it's true, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell you why, right? I was, um, do you know who I show speed is? No. Uh, he's this other creator that's like, like obviously like in my, in my space. I, I was staying with him in September and like, I would literally like be all my shit like every day, like grinding, like I, what I'm grinding. Right. And like when he left, I had like no one around me to basically like, kind of like all my, like, like Everything. so it, it I shows. Get it. Yeah. yeah. I, and, and and that's why I live in a competitive environment. I live with my brother, my cousin. I live with men. We have a big house. I, we could all afford fucking 10 houses each. We live together on purpose. If my brother does 500 push-ups, I ain't going to be the bitch at the house. I ain't going to not do them. Right, right. I'm, so that that's another reason the war room exists. My organization, the reason it's so competitive, is the reason we kick people out. You have Damn. to fight to keep even fighting. Even if they pay, you're like, I don't give a fuck. Get out. Like, I don't give a fuck. Get yeah. out. I'll kick them out. doesn't matter. Everyone pays to join. You get kicked out anyway. You have to fight to keep you your place. That's the whole keep, Damn. That's because that's how life was. If we were still in the animal kingdom, the lions that you see on TV, they weren't just born big lions. They had to fight other lions. They had to fight to get that antelope. They had to fight other animals, hyenas, jackals. They had to fight to be the boss. Yeah. We're living in a comfortable world now where people think, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you know what? To some degree, it does matter. It does matter. And I'll tell you who it matters to. It matters to your soul and it matters to God. I stand in the mirror with a pure heart. I know I am the best version of me that could possibly ever exist. I know that God is proud of me. There's nothing that God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man and that man were to sit around and do fuck all, God will frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why. Because God dislikes you because you're fucking lazy. Start to work. Start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. Wow. God is unhappy with these people. And inside their hearts, they're unhappy. We talk about depression, anxiety, all those things you mentioned earlier on this podcast. That comes from self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own, yeah. own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me? Men who thought they could test me in fair combat. How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. Do you understand? Bro, you got like the best fucking mentality, like brain, like ethic I've ever seen in my fucking life. What the fuck? Everything you're saying is just like that you said is literally facts. I agree with like 100% of everything. So why why do we, okay, here's another question. Do you, have, do, you, do you notice that like human beings naturally, we don't care about things until it's gone. Like we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. Do you know that, you know what I'm trying to say? Like appreciation, like Correct. why is that? Why do you think that? And do you, do you feel that way? Like, are you very grateful? Are you appreciate what you have? Like, you know how to speak on that. Yeah, that's, that's a mental trick. You have to rewire your brain. That's one of the things you have to rewire your brain to do. And the reason your brain needs to be rewired is because anyone who is watching this stream below the age of 30, your brain is already broken. And I'll tell you it's broken, I'll tell you why. Watch your friends when they're on TikTok. How long can they even focus on a video before they have to change? Half a second, a second, Damn. maybe. All of your minds are broken. You can't even focus on anything anymore. You're right. You are constantly distracted to the point where you can't even appreciate the good things in your life. You're distracted. Your minds are broken. You need to rewire your mind and resist the slave programming. How? They have pro I'll tell you how. First thing you have to do is identify it. You have to identify what is happening to you. I use my mind to break the trap. What I do is I allow my enemy to manipulate me on purpose. And then I use my mind to break the trap and punish the perpetrators. I will sit on TikTok for a day and I'll just enjoy TikTok. And by the end of the day, I'll watch myself. How fucked, how quickly I'm looking to be entertained, how little time I give a video, how fucked up I am. And then I'll blink and I'll cure my fucking brain. Okay. You must allow yourself to be manipulated and you must fix it. All of it. You just talked about not appreciating the things you have. Then blink. Yeah, you need to detect the problem. Like yeah. the car, you need to detect the problem in your car to fix it. Otherwise, mm. it will be fucked. And cure your brain. Mm. It's, a, it's a conscious decision. You're letting other people control your mind. All the distraction. The Matrix is trying to control your mind. They're very good at it. That's what they do to control all of us. You have to break the trap. If you cannot control your own mind, let me make this, this point because it's extremely important. If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life because your own mind is the only thing you can control. You can't control the weather. Right. You can't control other people. You can't even control whether your heart stops beating. You might have a heart attack tomorrow. You can't control anything besides what you think. If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control anything. You're just a feather in the wind waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place, completely hoping on the gods to be fortunate to you because if any genuine discomfort comes your way, you're fucked. It is trained.
like everything else in life, it is trained. So if you find yourself not appreciating what you have until it's gone, then you must blink and cure your brain. If you find yourself unable to focus or concentrate on tasks, you must blink and cure your brain. If you find yourself unable to go and dedicate yourself to something you don't want to do, you must blink and cure your brain. Because all, all of our minds have been under constant assault for years. The, genu the way the mind functions, the way people interact, has changed so significantly in the last 10 years you wouldn't believe. If you go to a party today as opposed to a party 10 years ago, they look completely different. Exactly. From 2012-ish, mm. yeah. that was when the, uh, the complete change happened mm. with, with uh, people and, and, and how they behave. Mm. With the smartphones, mm. there was a weird fucking shift. Because before that, it was sort of like back in the days, mm. regular human behavior. That's gone. 